The India, Brazil and South Africa Facility for Poverty and Hunger Alleviation, or IPSA Fund, is a beacon of South-South cooperation. Partnering with other countries of the South and the United Nations system to advance sustainable development. In Burundi, IPSA and its partners enabled 39,000 reproductive health consultations every year by building and equipping a three story reproductive health and HIV AIDS clinic. In Cabo Verde, Partners are delivering safe drinking water to 12,000 residents after building a desalination plant that processes 1,200 cubic meters per day. E estas ilhas precisam, como de pão para boca, de cada gota de água. E por isso esta usina é muito importante na construção do futuro, na criação de um futuro com mais qualidade de vida e bem-estar, na criação de condições para reduzir a pobreza. In Cambodia, partners enabled healthcare services for 2,000 children with special needs by building a hospital pavilion and training six doctors and 11 paramedics through residency programs. In Guinea-Bissau, 4,500 farmers improved their livelihoods by learning better agricultural techniques. 13,000 farmers' diets were enhanced through improved seeds and diversification of crops. 25 villages gained access to solar energy and 1,000 women became functionally literate. In Guyana, 180,000 residents benefit from improved solid waste management infrastructure, since seven markets and two tarmacs have been refurbished, and necessary equipment for waste collection and civil works have been purchased. In Haiti, IPSA and its partners are improving the employability and entrepreneurial capabilities of youth. 380 youth completed practical and formal training on building construction, cultural goods and services, the environment, sportsmanship, and entrepreneurship. In the Lao People's Democratic Republic, the incomes of 7,700 rural households have been increased and diversified by rehabilitating irrigation structures that enhance the agricultural yield. In the state of Palestine, health and sports infrastructure was enhanced. A nine-story hospital was refurbished. A center for individuals with intellectual disabilities was built and the rebuilding of an additional hospital is nearly completed. A 1,000 square meter multi-purpose sports complex was also completed, enabling over 6,600 youth to engage in athletic activities. In St. Lucia, Ipsa supported 150 sheep and goat farmers to improve their livelihoods. Through the introduction of quality breeds of animals, and improved ruminant breeding technical skills. In Sierra Leone, IPSA supported the development of leadership and capabilities to deliver public services. It facilitated training for the Presidential Cabinet and Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the design, enhancement and rollout of results-based management strategies and tools. In Sudan, IPSA and its partners generated 4,500 labor-intensive jobs by mapping market demand and supply within the waste management and road sectors and supporting skills training, entrepreneurship, and matching of laborers with employers. In Timor-Leste, 1,850 farmer and fisher families are increasing their livelihoods and nutrition through coaching on agricultural and fisheries techniques that promote enhanced and sustainable production. In Vietnam, IPSA supported the development of a rice production hub. Livelihoods of 4,000 households were enhanced, including through an increase in rice yield of 80% per hectare. <coughs> IPSA is also supporting an innovative e-learning approach to health, 
training 300 health professionals in remote areas through digital resources to improve their ability to treat non-communicable diseases. The IPSA Fund benefits from an engaged and dynamic board of directors that oversees the fund's South-South strategies. The United Nations Secretary General affirms that the IPSA Fund shows how developing countries can work together to eradicate poverty and build a more peaceful and sustainable world for all. The President of the 71st Session of the United Nations General Assembly said, India, Brazil and South Africa are providing an important contribution to the achievement of sustainable development goals. The UNDP Administrator said, the projects of the IPSA Fund are improving many lives across the global South. UNDP commends India, Brazil and South Africa for their continuous commitment. UNOSSC is pleased to serve as the IPSA Fund Manager and Board Secretariat. In 2017, IPSA countries have renewed their commitment to partner with the United Nations system, approving new projects for Bolivia, Cambodia, Camoros, Fiji, Grenada, Kiribati, Zambia.